It's time for Cedar Crest Today. Go to a very special commercial. I love that commercial that's coming up. 1956, three best friends decided they needed to see Frank Sinatra at the Paramount in New York City. We pretended to be each other's mothers. Hi, this is Mrs. Fecko calling. And called in to the school. I'll let you know that Jane is sick today and she won't be in. Hopped on the bus, the 102, and rode into New York City. We got to the Paramount and the crowds are mobbing the streets outside. People waiting to get in. Everybody is screaming and hollering and carrying on. And the newspaper photographers were all over the place. Well, we didn't realize that. We were just having a good time. So we got in and we have fantastic seats. Oh, we were so excited. And the next thing you know, the stage comes up. And here we are sitting in the fifth row. It was terrific. After Got home, never said anything to the family. Of course, you don't tell them you cut school to go to New York City. The next day on the kitchen table was the Daily Newspaper. And on the back page of the Daily News was pictures of the mob scene of the teenagers at the Frank Sinatra show at the Paramount. And who's standing right there, up front and center, was me and Martha and Jane. My father never said a word, and neither did we. Happy birthday, Frankie, 100 years. And guess what? We have for you live in person, we have Joanne West, who you just saw in a commercial, but now here she is with the wonderful information that she's going to give you after we delve into her life. Yeah. Well, we just want to mention the fact that uh, the TV studio is looking for more of these uh, um, stories. If you have or have anything to say about uh, Frank Sinatra, um, just call up Mike and um, Larry, and they would like to put it on the television, just like we saw Joanne, which was wonderful. Thank you for oh, doing that. Yay. Thank you. And good morning. Thank you. Good, good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah, I felt yeah, like yeah. this was the Joanne West show. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Why right. not? That's right. right. That's, how, that's how we got started, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, how long are you here, Joanne? I'm here nine years. Mm -hmm. um, well, it was nine years in May, so it's more than nine years. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I moved here, I think I was about the youngest person on the campus. Mm -hmm. And I kept asking, where are the young people? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's when we started a different group, the CYO thing, the mm -hmm. Cedar Crest Youth Organization, what whatever it was called. To that? I don't know, that kind of fizzled out. Everybody got old. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the truth. That's the truth. Not us. Not no, us. no, never no, old. Never. <laughs> old is. is State of mind, we all know that. Right. Yep. We all know. Tell, yeah. tell my shoulder and my <laughs> well, knee. Well, that's the <laughs> physical stuff doesn't yes. count. Where did you come from, Joanne? I came from Bergen County, South Bergen oh. County, mm -hmm. and uh, my family's still there. How many children do you have? I have two daughters mm -hmm. and four grandchildren. Good. And did you work outside of the home? I have my own business. As a matter of fact, it's still running. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm wonderful! I'm a safety engineer, safety and we're consulting. <laughs> uh huh. And. Uh, We've been around the world doing safety. Wow, that's great. Yeah. You yeah, should have yeah. talked to those kids in the lobby that were. Well, you know, I was a pioneer as a woman oh. in the field, and um, they wrote me up in all kinds of articles and things like mm -hmm. that, but mm -hmm. that didn't count because what counted was I was making the workplace safe to, for the workers. Yeah, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yeah. So. We, should, we should put you on a safety committee here. Yes. Aren't you on it? Uh, no, I'm not. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's uh, Rich Cirelli, who's yes. out behind the console. Uh, yep. Yeah, I've heard that name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can hear Cirelli's in different departments. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we have to know. So, Joanne, besides what you're going to talk about, what else are you involved in here? I know you were a calendar girl. I yeah, was the, a calendar the girl. three of us, sisters and calendar. <laughs> right, right. <Yeah. laughs> I'm a member of the Bergen Bunch. That's the folks who moved here from Bergen County. <clears throat> and uh, I run the aerobic groups here three times a week. And I learned to play the guitar here. Oh, good for you. So uh, I'm with the Cedar Crest uh, Strummers on Sunday mornings. Uh -huh. And we have an event coming up that I'd like to talk about oh, when please. I talk about our, our activities here. Yeah, um, there's something very important, something that we all can participate in one way or the other. Uh, I am the captain of the 
Alzheimer's Walk Committee here, and our Alzheimer's Walk is being held on campus on Monday, September 21st at noontime, so that staff can participate during their lunch hours. Um, when we look at this problem with Alzheimer's, we're all stakeholders in, in this problem. Uh, there's no discrimination. It, it affects men and women equally, and at this point, at all ages. I think we can all relate back to Ronald Reagan, one of our former presidents, who subsequently died from complications of Alzheimer's. There are a lot of famous people who have uh, succumbed to Alzheimer's. Uh, well, we're famous, too. Well, yeah, you don't have to be wait famous. Wait a minute. I'll give up the fame if I can give up the Alzheimer's. Let's give up the Alzheimer's. <laughs> right. um, some, some names I was surprised to hear. Um, Jimmy Stewart was one. There's a lot of celebrities that were involved with, with Alzheimer's. Rita Hayworth. Rita Hayworth. Her daughter started an international yes. program. Yes, that. she did. Mm -hmm. uh, Jackie Kennedy's mother, uh, Lee uh, Beauvoir, was also a, a victim of Alzheimer's. Uh, one of the recent ones that's still alive is Glenn Campbell, uh, our rhinestone cowboy fame. Mm -hmm. um, and he, when he was diagnosed, he took his whole show on the road. It was called the Goodbye Tour. And they videoed this whole tour, and we could see him gradually declining. And they, they showed this uh, documentary on CNN. It was very popular. Now they recently released the video. As a matter of fact, the release date is Monday, September 1st, and we have purchased it, and we intend to show it here mm -hmm. twice, once in the morning, and I mean, once in the afternoon, and again in the evening in the pack. But we won't schedule it until we physically have that tape in our, our disc in our hands. But um, it, it's a very moving but positive uh, uh, story to tell about mm -hmm. uh, personal things about Glenn Campbell and also about the effects of music and how music affects our brains. So along those lines, we've got some fundraisers, uh, activities going on. The committees work very hard on these programs and uh, we've gotten cooperation from other groups here at Cedar Crest. The um, guitar strummers, run by Marilyn Kaplan, who taught us all how to play the guitar, <laughs> are having a sing-along this coming Sunday in the afternoon at uh, Woodland Commons Conference Center. Um, please come and enjoy it. We're not going to give out song sheets or hand out oh. uh, word sheets because you know these songs. <laughs> yeah, but they're I part of our getting our... them. That's the trouble. I'll well, Marilyn's the... going to lead you, I'll so she'll the chorus, give you clues. La di da always works, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know some of these songs, I, I sit, sit outside on, on the Belmont listening to the songs they're singing at happy hour out there, and they are well beyond my age. We're going to come back to World War I, for goodness yeah. sakes. But everybody knows those songs. So that's what we're trying to raise some funds that way. We ask you to donate at the door. We're not charging admission. It's free, but we, we'd like you to donate when you come in the door. And those people who donate will be eligible for door prizes. Oh, Wonderful. Yeah. So we will have three door prizes. And um, I encourage everybody to come. Marilyn said pray for rain because then everybody will look for something to do on a rainy <laughs> Sunday afternoon. But come on in. Come in out of the heat for an hour. Right. It's at 2 o'clock, so mm -hmm. we'll have a ball. Uh, another activity we've got planned is our poetry group is doing a lighthearted poetry uh, reading. You know, you, you can look at art, you can display art, and you can really get an appreciation when you see it in the hallways. But how do you appreciate poetry? Uh, it, it's, a, it's a separate art, and we need to appreciate the audible art as well as what we can see visually. And our, our, we have very, very talented people here uh, who are anxious for, for others to share with their expression of art. Uh, we welcome you to come. We have asked everybody to bring their friends and neighbors. It's something different. Try it if you've never had uh, an when event. Is that? That's going to be on September 11th 
at the uh, Will and Commons catering room. We got everything over in the catering room because it was the only room that was empty for us that was big enough. Uh, we were also having door prizes, so we're going to bribe you to come over. <laughs> um, and they have a special surprise with that, that program that will guarantee to get you out of your seats, and I'm not going to tell you what that surprise is. Now, can you just tell us again what time and what day the walk will be? Uh, the walk is September 21st. It's a Monday. And we're going to sign you up at noon, and the walk starts at 1 o'clock. We have people from the Alzheimer's Association coming to kick off the walk. Where does it start? It starts at Woodland Commons, okay. and it will go to Mountain View Gardens, around Valley View, and back to Woodland Commons. However, I will have a bus at, at Mountain View Gardens for people who only want to walk one way. So you can walk from Woodland Commons over to Mountain View. And that's no more, really, than if you're coming over to the Belmont for dinner if you're, or for, for brunch on Sunday. You walk these halls all the time, but this is going to be out in the street, and it's even shorter. Uh, and then wheelchairs you wheelchairs and walkers, call me for any information you need. Uh, I'm in the book. I'm not going to give my phone number here yeah, because yeah, they're yeah. going to write it down. Uh, we will also have cheerleaders. An intermission group is going to be out there uh, with uh, cheerleaders. You have sign-up sheets down in the lobbies. In every lobby, oh, okay. uh, on the information tables, are sign-up sheets. They're in Woodland Commons and Village Square and, again, here in the Belmont. Good. Can I come in my jazzy? Absolutely. Make sure your battery's fully charged. <laughs> well, you can come in jazzy. My battery or the battery of the jazzy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, walkers are, are encouraged as well. Um, you can walk as far as you can. Right, right. You know, you don't have to make the whole round trip. You don't have to go halfway. Just to get up and participate. Good. Good. That's well, what we we're looking for. We want to thank you for coming on and speaking about this important um, uh, organization, you know, that's going on. So that all of us, of course, you know, who are here and are alerted to Alzheimer's that, you know, we'll join you and um, hopefully we'll get some money to continue the, um, the work that's being done in this. So thank you for coming on. We appreciate it. And thank you for all you do here. Thank you. You know, we live in a place where we, um, uh, Alzheimer's impacts on us, if not directly personally through our neighbors. Right. And, Absolutely. you know, um, I've, I see it. I, I visit sometimes uh, before it gets too difficult to visit. And I see the, the pain in the resident who is still independent, the pain of completely losing somebody that you knew and loved. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, it's a remarkable thing because it's just a, not, he's not there anymore, she's not there anymore, and yet, well, that's what these funds are for, to help the families, to help the caregivers, mm -hmm. to get them through this. This money that goes to research, yes, but that research takes a long time. Right. But these funds we're looking for to go to as caregiver supports and for general education as well. Mm -hmm. okay. well, thank you thank again. You. Yeah, thank it's you really for coming. Thank you. And we thank you for watching. And uh, please uh, come back next week. We'll have another wonderful guest, and you have a great day today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.